Hello everyone, I am Makraj and welcome to my YouTube channel The Golden Platter. Today's recipe is an all-time favorite recipe of every person in India. Whenever we go to any restaurant, we make sure to order this particular dish. The name of the recipe is Dal Makhni. But before starting with the recipe, make sure you've subscribed to the channel and press the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of the amazing recipes. So let's get started. You have to be a little patient with this recipe as it involves three different steps and ingredients and I'll be telling you all the ingredients and steps accordingly. So let's move on to the ingredients. For the first step we need 200 grams of Sabat Urad Dal or black lentil and 4 to 5 times water. I've taken 1 litre water and 1 fourth cup or 55 grams of butter. For the second step we need one and a half cup or 325 grams of tomato puree, half cup or 115 grams of butter, one tablespoon ginger garlic paste, half teaspoon asafoetida or hing, one teaspoon red chili powder, one tablespoon Kashmiri red chili powder or degi mirch and salt to taste. For the third step we need one teaspoon Kashmiri red chili powder or degi mirch salt to taste, 175 ml cream, 1 fourth cup or 55 grams of butter, 1 teaspoon kasuri methi, 1 teaspoon elachi or cardamom powder and half tablespoon chopped garlic. Before making dal makhni, we have to soak the uh, sabut urad dal in water a night before. So I've already soaked this dal and look it has almost doubled in size and I've washed it with clean water three to four times and one very important tip to bring out the color of the dal uh, in dal makhni is that we got to rub this dal nicely and massage it nicely for around two to three minutes. So in the first step, we'll add this dal into the pressure cooker. Ideally, dal makhni is slow cooked in a vessel for one to two hours. But in this recipe, we'll pressure cook it for four to five whistles till it splits and blooms. Now we'll add a liter of water to it. And we're going to pressure cook it for four to five whistles. So simultaneously, we'll move on to the second step or making the tarka for dal makhni. So in a kadai, we'll add butter. And we'll let it melt. Now in the butter, we'll add hing and red chili powder. And a tablespoon of degi mirch. Give it a nice stir. Then we're going to add ginger garlic paste. Mix it again. Just cook it for a minute or so. And lastly, we'll add the tomato puree. And finally, salt to taste. We we'll let it cook and thicken till the puree becomes thick, changes a bit of color and uh, the butter separates from the tomato puree. So now you can see that the tomato puree has thickened and it has changed its color to beautiful red and the butter has separated from the tomato puree. So it's ready and we'll just keep it aside for later use. So after five whistles, 
we let the pressure release naturally from the cooker and we'll open it now. The water you can see on uh, the top of the dal. We're not going to use this water and we'll just take it out or drain away. So now you can see that the dal has split and bloomed very nicely. So we're going to add one fourth cup of butter to it. And we'll cook it for 20 minutes on low to medium flame. So now dal has been cooking in butter for around 20 minutes and now we'll transfer it to the tarka that we prepared earlier. Just mix it nicely. And now we'll cook it for 10 to 15 minutes. So in the meantime, we'll prepare the final tarka and a third step of dal makhni. So in a pan, we'll add butter. Just let it melt a little. Now we'll add chopped garlic to it. Give it a quick mix. Then we'll add Kashmiri chili powder or Devi mirch. Then goes salt to taste. Be careful about the salt if you're using salted butter. And finally, we'll be adding kasuri methi and our elaichi or cardamom powder. Just mix it nicely. And it's ready to be added to our dal makhni. So now we're gonna add the final tadka to our dal makhni. Amazing. Just mix it well. Look at the beautiful color of our dal makhni. Just mix it well and cook for a final 10 minutes. So our dal makhni has cooked perfectly and it's time to add our final ingredient that is cream. Just give it a nice mix and we'll cook it for two to three minutes. So our dal makhni is done and ready and look at the perfect consistency and color and texture of the dal makhni. If you find that your uh, dal makhni is a bit thick, if you find the consistency a bit thick, you can add two to three tablespoons of water to it. So let's plate our dal makhni. So our super amazing and lip smacking dal makhni is ready to eat. You can have it with lachha parantha or butter naan and enjoy it with your family and friends. Please try this recipe at home and do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.